There's no refrigerator on the International Space Station. The food all has to be shelf stable at room temperature. And the reason there's no refrigeration is because there's limited resources on the International Space Station. And this is also going to be true on a mission to Mars. Keeping foods stable for five years is a difficult challenge because you have to stabilize the nutrition and you have to stabilize the quality of the food, so how well it tastes. So if you've ever had a food that's been in your pantry for a certain amount of time and it's past the best of use by, but it's something like a granola bar and you still try it or you have some crackers in there and you try them and you're like, oh, these aren't very good. Chances are that food's still not five years old. So when we go to Mars, the food actually might get sent ahead of the crew. On the International Space Station, they get resupply missions every few months. On a Mars mission, they probably won't have any resupply. The astronauts are really excited when fresh fruit comes up on resupply missions because they don't get it very often, only when a resupply mission docks. NASA cares a great deal about food for the astronauts. Um, they need to consume enough calories, enough nutrients to stay healthy for the whole mission. And so a mission to Mars is particularly challenging. It could be 30 months. Six months there, 18 months stay, six months back. And the food system might be deployed in advance of the astronaut. We may need food that will last five years and be delicious in the fifth year. Flavor includes taste, which is things like salty and bitter and sour and sweet and umami, which is actually savory. And it's also a lot of what you get when you're smelling the food. So most of flavor is aroma. When you're looking at taste changes, there's a lot of things that are going on in orbit that could be contributing to a sensation of a taste change. So potentially it could be the fluid shift in the body so you don't taste things as well because you have a sensation that you have a cold. The aromas don't dissipate the same. They don't rise like they do here on Earth without gravity. And so they dissipate instead of rising. And so they're not getting that aroma, which is most of flavor. The astronauts have about 200 different food options, and that includes their beverages. It's cooked and prepared here on Earth. We remove the water when they add it back. It's real food. This actually will taste just like you would expect a pasta with shrimp product to taste when you add water back. The reason we remove the water is partially for mass savings. So when you send this up into orbit, it weighs a lot less and it costs a lot to launch a kilogram into space. So they recycle a lot of their water on the International Space Station so they can add the water back. And we expect that that will continue as they go on Mars missions, that they'd still be recycling a lot of their water. Uh, we know from studies that only about seven of 65 of these that are currently in our food system would still taste good after five years. So this is like canned food that you buy in the grocery store except in a flexible lightweight pouch. If we do send these to Mars, we have to have a countermeasure in place which could be a new technology to produce them. So we're still looking into um, different technologies and how much extra shelf life we can get. Can we get to five years by using those technologies or even combinations of them?